Okay, so what is your speed at the top of the roller coaster? So what we're going to do here is we're going to figure out the acceleration of the ride in meters per second squared, right? So at the top, we feel 1.75 g's inverted. So our g-force is negative 0.75. That's inverted, right? And we know that 1 g minus the ride is negative 0.75. So therefore, the ride is 1.75 g's, right? That's what the ride is really doing, OK? And that's because we just, we just do a little math here, right? 1 minus 1.75 would be inverted 0.75 g's, right? OK? So now we know that that's the ride. Let's turn that into meters per second squared. So 1.75 times 9.8 because that's how you do it. Literally, that means 1.75 times 9.8. Okay, so 1.75 times 9.8 is 17.15. And then we want to know the speed, and we have the radius, right? So I'm going to use, that's the acceleration, right? So I'm going to use this v squared over r and just solve for, I guess, v, right? So 17.15 is v squared divided by 3.8. All right, so that times 3.8 is v squared raised to the 0 0.5 is 8.1, 8.07, right? Or roughly 8.1 is right, OK? So these things, when you're doing these things, what you want to do is you want to, I'm going to tell you the g-force um, at some point, either the top or the bottom, you got to figure out what the ride really is doing. Turn that into G's and then use some formula like this, okay, to find what it is, right? And it could be, you could use 4 pi squared r over t squared, and maybe I'd ask you for the period or the radius or something like that, okay? Happy hunting. <laughs>